Hi, so in this video we are going to learn about the properties of ratio and proportion and the property is the value of the ratio remains same if both the terms of the ratio are either multiplied or divided by the same number and that number has to be a non-zero number. So suppose if you have a ratio like A is to B and if you multiply both first term which is called antecedent and the second term which is called consequent by the same number suppose M then this will become A M divided by B M right and if we try to write it in the simplest form this M will cancel this M and this will again become A by B which is nothing but A is to B suppose again we will take the example of cake suppose we were taking one cup of sugar and one cup of flour and if I want to make a cake of the double the size I can simply make it two cups of sugar and two cups of flour this will make a cake of the double the size of the original cake right and if I take four cups of sugar and four cups of flour this will make four times the size of the cake but in all the cases the ratio between sugar and flour remains same so this is what is meant by multiplying both the terms by a number right and if I divide both the terms by the same number that means suppose the original ratio is A is to B and if I divide both the terms first term by M and second term also I divide by M then this will become A by M multiplied by the reciprocal of this which is M by B right and here also this M will cancel this M and this is again is equal to A by B which is A is to B right so yes this is like making the cake of the half the size of the original cake right so if you take half cup of sugar you have to take half cup of flour to maintain the ratio and to maintain the taste of the cake so these are few properties of the ratio which we use when we solve problems and there is one more thing which is comparison of ratios so suppose if you want to compare two ratios a is to b and suppose c is to d let me erase this suppose if we are comparing ratios a is to b and c is to d we're comparing compare then what we have to do one is a very simple way to convert both of them in the form of decimal divide a by b and you will get a decimal number and divide c by d you will get another decimal number and then the comparison becomes very easy right another way of comparing two ratios is exactly same as comparing two fractions so suppose you have ratio a is to b and c is to d what you do is you just cross multiply these two so you will get a d and CB. If AD is greater than CB, then AB is greater than CD. And if CB is greater than AD, that means the ratio C is to D is greater than the ratio A is to B. And if AD is equal to CB, that means both the ratios are equal, that means A is to b is equal to c is to d so these are a few very basic things which we should know about the ratios so very simple basic video and after this we will learn different types of ratios so keep watching math smart and bye bye till then